an important point. Here's why, Evan. If I were to choose this point right here, that is going to be somewhere in between 2 and 3. Now, we can assume all day long what that point is, but we don't really know what it is. So again, we're just making an assumption at what that number is. And so by picking a number that actually falls directly on 5, 2, or 0, 3, we know the whole number to our subtraction and our addition is a little bit easier. That's why it has to be specifically on there, Evan. And tomorrow when we get into graphs, I'll show you the actual logical way behind it all. But today I'm just trying to introduce this. Read. We will. I'm going to show you that in just a second after I create this question. Yes, Ruger. What if there's uh, not a second point? What if there's a second there will be on this tomorrow. I'll show you the formula that we'll use if there's not. Now, Reed asked a great question. He said, well, doesn't this one also work? Well, yeah. So look, check this out. Up one, one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't it give you the same answer? And it will always be repetitive. Every single line is only going to have one slope. Every single line is only going to have one slope. All right, let's drop down to this one, number three. Anybody, what do you guys notice about this one? It's proportional because it goes through the origin. Great, what else? It goes down, and if it goes down, what does that mean, Jackson? It's negative. Good. What do we notice about the points where it's intersecting? There's a lot of ones that we can choose from, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so hey, here's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose 1, negative 2. I'm going to choose 1, negative 2. And I'm going to choose negative 1, 1. I'm just choosing them at random. Do they meet my criteria? They go through a perfect number. They're not in between anything. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3. So I end up with a negative 3 over 3. But hear me out on this. We always have to simplify. What can I simplify negative 3 over 3 to? Negative 1 over 1. You guys with me on that? Now, let me ask you this. If I start here, and I go up 1 over 1, 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 doesn't it work for every single one? Yeah. So don't we agree that that's my slope, to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1? Mm -hmm. Have I lost anybody yet? Or are we, Isaac, have you thought of your question? Mm -hmm. Diana, Josh, Rosie, Caden, good? All right, try number four on your own. We're going to try number four. I'll give you a couple of lead-in questions. Is it proportional? No. Uh, positive or negative? Negative. Okay, good. See what you can do on number four. You're still learning. Who cares if you're wrong? Anybody bold enough to tell me what you got? What you think you got? Josh, what would you get? Negative 5 over 1. Negative 5 over 1. Do we agree? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to pick this point right here. I'm going to go down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Well, that's not on the line. I got negative 1 over 1. Yeah, I got negative 5. Let's try that then. Down 1. Oh, very good. Yes. You see the difference there, Josh? Yeah. Okay. So negative 1 over 5. Can we all agree with that? <laughs> Questions on that one? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll down to 5, 6, 7, and 8. And here's what I want you to try. Everybody is sitting close enough to somebody. 
Actually, hold on, first off. I want you to go through five, six, seven, eight, and tell me which ones are positive and which ones are negative. On your paper, go through and do that. Five, six, seven, and eight, tell me which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Yeah. Could we go though? If there's uh, any medium force, could we go from the start, uh, like the bottom, like positive to start of the line, the top of the line, and from point to point? And yeah, you could do that. They're all points on the line, so they're all just different ones. I'll show you. Positive or negative line? Six, positive or negative? Seven, positive or negative? Eight, positive or negative? All right, next question. Proportional or non-proportional? Proportional or non-proportional? Proportional or non-proportional? Proportional or non-proportional? Good. You guys are learning. You see that? You guys are learning. Do you realize that? Think about how much you've figured out in the past couple weeks. Proud of y'all. Okay, now, I'm gonna look for points. I think the only two that I have on here are the top and the bottom. Yeah. Can we agree with that? Everything else is just crossing through stuff. Mm -hmm. So if I start here, I'm gonna go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over what? Ten. So my slope is 10 over one. Are you okay with that? Here's what I want you to do for number six. There are people around you. You get an answer. Once you have verified it with somebody else, raise your hand. Somebody around you. Talk to them. Look it over with them. Do you have a question? Josh, you have the answer. Uh, so you go down and then over? Well, rise means up or down. Run means over. So you do rise and then up yep. Okay. yep. Rise over run. Gotta verify with somebody you can verify with the same person. Oh, I'm smart. Talk to that, talk to Mariah, they're right next to you. Kendall, did you verify with somebody? Nathan, did you verify? No, you verify with Mariah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Somebody, what do you, anybody got an answer? Six. Six? All right. Number six? Yeah, four number six. Uh, two over five. Two over five. I'm going to start here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take it. So yes. I think from side to side, and I got four over ten. Six. Okay. So let me ask you this. If I have 4 over 10, can you simplify 4 over 10? Yes. And when you simplify it, what do you get? Simplify. Always simplify. Always simplify, okay? All right, so let's do this one now. Anybody got a slope for me on 7? Anthony, what'd you get? Negative 10 over 3? I don't know. Let's find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three. I'll take it. Yes, Josh. So you're seven over two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 
Two? I think it's off slightly, Josh. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can't see it because it's like colored. Yeah. All right, and finally, can anybody give me one for number eight? My last one. Last one. Okay, then what'd you get? Nine over two. Nine over what? Ten. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. All right, hey, so I'm going to end the video real quick. Here's how this looks. Your homework assignment looks...